Breaking news, a DeKalb County jury has reached a verdict in the trial of a man charged with killing a tow truck driver. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Courtney Bryant. And I'm Russ Spencer in for Tom Haynes. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor joins us now live from the courthouse. Angelique, the jury announced its verdicts about a half an hour ago. What did they decide? Well, Russ, uh, they did announce about 4.30. It appeared to have been a victory for the state. Guilty on five of the six counts. Not guilty, though, on the malice murder. And the state seemed to have taken issue with that. In fact, they asked that every juror be polled individually. And that is what is going on right now in the courtroom. Now, if you have the jury for a woman, she began reading the verdicts. Let's take a listen. As of count one, malice murder. Where did you find the defendant, Victor, which is not guilty? The same thing as of count one. Where did you find Victor, which is guilty of voluntary mass slaughter? So, as of count two, felony murder. Where did you find Victor, which is guilty? As of count three, aggravated assault. Where did you find the defendant, Victor Richardson, guilty? As of count four, aggravated assault. Where did you find the defendant, Victor Richardson, guilty? And we apologize for that feedback. There was little to no reaction, though, from Defendant Richardson when the six verdicts were read. The widow, though, of the tow truck operator, Christopher Harrell, was in the courtroom, and she immediately burst into tears. Keep in mind, the husband and father of five was an innocent bystander when his employee, DeAndre Dean, and suspect Richardson got into an argument over money. Now, the state, again, seemed disappointed with that not guilty on malice murder. The jury, though, uh, finding him guilty of a lesser included offense of voluntary manslaughter on that particular count. Jurors again are still in the courtroom. I am told though sentencing has been announced for tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We are live in DeKalb County. Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News.